This will be about the Express LRS, but not exactly about what Express LRS is and is it legal or illegal, because there are some words about legality and not legality. I will not tell you if you should use Express LRS or not. I'm just, I'm just gonna sum up if, according to the law, if this is legal to use Express LRS in the European Union or not. And by the way, this is kind of complicated and uh, interesting stuff. Because European Union as itself has a lot of rules of what can be sold and used on the territory of the European Union. On the one hand, we have the radio laws that say uh, what you can transmit, in which band, with which powers, with which duty cycles, and, and so on and so on. And some bands are reserved on for specific usage. For example, 915 MHz in the European Union is uh, cellular LTE and, and uh, you know, the, the phone stuff. And if you try to put anything that is not really like certified, has the permission, then no, 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 they will find you. Trust me, if you put enough of the power into 950 MHz, they will find you because if the operator of the cellular network will find out that one of his BTSs is jammed, they will find you because it's just he's just losing money. On the other hand, we have this 2.4 gigahertz uh, band, which is like not that very heavily used around. We have this mess with the Wi Fi, Bluetooth, is the ISM band. It's much, 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 much safer. And But even for the ISM uh, bands, there are rules of what you can put into the air. Uh, on the other hand, if you, if you as the manufacturer or the importer would like to sell something on the territory of the European Union, you kind of have to meet some of the regulations. Uh, it's not that you have to have everything certified. Certification is not really almost required, but there is this thing called the CE. Certificate de, de whatever, because I think the original name is uh, in French. However, it's the CE mark that has to be put on the product, in the visible way, of course, that is not made on the area of the European Union, but somewhere else, for example, China, but because basically everything is manufactured on the on the, the territory of the China and then imported. If this is in one of the selected categories and everything radio control and radio transmission connected is over there. So assuming that you are a small Chinese manufacturer uh, in China, uh, that would like to make Express LRS compatible hardware. Then, in, if you officially want to sell it in Europe, you have to put the CE mark on it. And this means that you say that this is uh, compliant with uh, all the rules that are happening in the, in, the, in the territory of the European Union. And you import this. But, what if you don't? What if you uh, will be selling only on the, for example, AliExpress and just ignore the CE mark uh, completely. You will not check, you will just, okay, screw it. I don't care if this is guys from Europe buying or not. Uh, so I let the nature like figure out what to do with the stuff. And, and then you, as the, as, the, as the user, buy this thing from, from the China and you would like to use it. And now, have you checked if the radio you are using, like the Express LRS or something, uh, has the CE sticker on it? Check. If, for example, you bought the but I know Beta FPV or any other Express LRS hardware, do you have the CE mark on this thing? Is it there, like on physically on the on the thing? If it has. Uh, that means that it's probably 100% safe to use, and this is legal in the United in the United Europe. If it doesn't, then not so much. Uh, but the more interesting thing is what will actually happen when uh, you will use something 
and the authorities will come to you and say, whoa, mate, what the fuck are you doing with this thing? Uh, it's putting complete garbage into the air, it's polluting the, the ether and one of our uh, GPS, not the GPS, but GSM uh, towers, BTSs, is not working. What will happen? Who is responsible for, for the situation? You or the guy who sold you the, the stuff? You. So, I'm not saying that there is a special police that will hunt you down if you use the stuff that you cannot really use. But, like I mentioned before, if you use this uh, 915 MHz, for example, in the European Union, no, the, 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 too close to the BTS, they will find you. Oh, too much of the power. So, it's complicated. Uh, it's complicated because even having the CE mark does, it, does not mean that this is really not... Because this is only the, the, the manufacturer, the importer says, okay, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, we think it's fine. We say it's fine, but is it? That's a completely different story. And then finally we have the, with the case when, for example, you got yourself the hardware, uh, for example, from FreeSky, uh, with the, that has the CE mark. And please do remember that the FreeSky R9 with the EU firmware is actually legal to use in the European Union because it's actually meeting all those uh, regulations because FRSky was interested in having this thing fully legal in the European Union. So you buy this thing with the CE mark that has the firmware that is 100% allowed and in the, is meeting the regulations of the European Union. And then you flash Express LRS to the, to the R9. Is it then still legal to use or not? And the reality is that uh, at this moment, when you flashed the Express LRS into R9, the CE mark that says that someone says it's meeting all the requirements is no longer valid because you modified the product. And from this moment on, all the responsibility, if anything goes wrong, is on you. You cannot say, but, I, but, I, but it has, I flashed. You don't know. Uh, you don't know what might happen. I'm not saying it will happen. It, we are only like going into this 100% theoretical uh, aspect of the stuff, because somebody asked me, is it legal to use Express LRS in Europe? So, uh, the reality that not... <laughs> It's a gray area. It's a really a gray area and you do have to remember that in case of something goes wrong You will be held responsible for everything that goes wrong because you can even go to the source code of the Express LRS or anything there uh, modify some numbers and uh, for example start uh, jamming the 950 head band Doable like come on the hardware allows for it. So what prohibits you? This is one of those heavy topics uh, that we have right now. And the reality is that the European Union is the European Union. It allows for some things and for other don't. And if you are ready to face the consequences, it's great. But you cannot really defend yourself or say that Express LRS uh, is fully legal to use in the European Union because it's most probably is it. Probably you would be better off if you would build your own transmitter and receiver and then flush it with Express LRS than import the, the ready-made from China because then at least the CE part is not uh, important. That's an option. Start making the uh, European Union made, uh, but really made uh, Express LRS compatible uh, transceivers and receivers. That's an interesting idea. Okay, and that I think covers the topic of is Express LRS legal? And the long story short is that depends, probably not, but it's not that you will be caught as long as you're not doing anything stupid, especially not in the 900 megahertz range. Done.